Live from the WTXL studios, this is ABC 27's News Weekend Edition. A couple survives being stranded in the Atlantic Ocean, all thanks to a Tallahassee native and three other men. Good evening, I'm Christina Resnack. Thank you for joining us. The U.S. Coast Guard says 50-year-old Sean McGovern and 52-year-old Melissa Morris fell off their 30-foot island hopper boat in Key Largo around 6 Friday evening. They were stranded for 14 hours. Two off-duty Broward Sheriff's Office detectives found the couple, along with a Broward Sheriff's Office firefighter and one other man. One of the detectives, Josh Webb, is a Tallahassee native. He says they spotted the couple seven miles offshore, treading water without any life vest. Another 30 minutes to an hour, they probably, they probably, it probably wouldn't have the same outcome as it did today because they were, they were in pretty bad shape. They were both cramping pretty bad. They were very dehydrated, um, very tired. Uh, they appear to be mild, mildly hypothermic. McGovern and Morris are both expected to recover. Can't even imagine for treading water for that right. long. That's incredible. Crazy story there. Yeah, very cool. Everything worked out A-OK. -okay. That's good. Right, very lucky they were rescued. Good news there. Yeah, uh, and back home, everything pretty much A-OK -okay now as well. You good to know. Still yeah. are seeing a little rain out there. We had some of that thunderstorm activity still sticking around into the late hours. Here's a six-hour loop of what we were seeing. All that active weather streaming down from the tri-state region, pushing southward, well, fizzling on out as the daytime heating now is going away. So we're transitioning into a calmer overnight hours, but if you're, yeah, that's for if you're inland. Offshore waterways, that is where the storms are going to start to fire on up into the overnight hours. It switches. During the daytime, you see the rainfall usually inland. At night, you see some of the rainfall continuing overnight in the open waterway. So really we have one little batch of energy still over our area and it is right now over the capital city for the most part. Killarne Lakes into Centerville as well going up 319 and also pushing to the south side as well towards Woodville also down the Woodville Highway into Wakulla County. So that's really the only place that we're seeing the rainfall and again no real thunder embedded in that. The storms are really fizzling on now. So temperatures though in the rain atmosphere is still holding on into the mid 70s. 74 in the capital city, 73 over in the uh, in Thomasville, 76 in Valdosta, where the skies have actually cleared out since they, don't, aren't, they aren't seeing any rainfall over there. All right, here's what you can expect into the next several hours. Going back to work tomorrow, well, it should be dry for your morning commute, but heading into lunchtime, I think the storms do start to ramp up a little bit earlier than we saw over your weekend hours, where we will see the storms right around lunchtime start to boil up around the capital city and also for folks in the Big Bend in South Georgia, it looks like. And that'll continue to push into your evening hours as well. Now, there is some good news in the way, uh, on the way if you're not looking forward to all the rainfall. We'll have that good news for you coming up in just a couple minutes. Christina? All right, thanks, Max. Tallahassee City Commissioners are getting ready to take a closer look at next year's proposed budget. They're holding their first budget workshop tomorrow. According to our media partners at the Tallahassee Democrat, the proposed budget is $784.6 million. While that number is down $8.1 million from this year, the city will receive another estimated $1.2 million in tax revenue. 300,000 of that will go toward the community redevelopment agencies downtown, Southside, and Frenchtown districts. But taxes could go up for homeowners. For more details, just visit our website at WTXL.TV. A Tallahassee organization needs your help to feed a group of men after a fire damages their facility. Care Tallahassee helps men get back on their feet and re-enter society after being incarcerated. Good Samaritan Network Logistics Manager Randy Vick says firefighters told them an issue with an extension cord may have sparked the fire. It happened last Tuesday. The Good Samaritan Network oversees the transitional home where Vick says the administrative office, kitchen, and a bedroom were damaged. Our first and most important urgent need right now is uh, prepared meals for our men. Uh, because the kitchen, we can't get into the kitchen to do any work at all. Our men um, work throughout the day. All of them are gone every day up until 5 o'clock. Vic says volunteers are needed to help clean up and rebuild after insurance adjusters assess the damage. If you'd like to get involved, you can get more information by going to our website, WTXL.TV. Theater Tallahassee is performing the famous play Harvey. The play is about a comedy about a man named Elwood who has an imaginary friend Harvey, a six and a half foot tall rabbit. The comedy has been around since the 1940s and has been a hit within the Tallahassee community. Audrey Schmidt, the stage manager for the play, says they've seen a great turnout so far. 
So it's been great since opening. We've had a few almost sold out houses and the theaters are full of life and energy every night. This is actually, I believe, the third time Harvey's been done here at Theater Tallahassee. So it's a, definitely a community experience. Theater Tallahassee plans to upgrade the theater in August so that it can continue giving back to the Tallahassee community. They're also planning a fundraiser with a performance of an all-female version of The Odd Couple this summer. Coming up on ABC 27 News Weekend, how did the U.S. play in their World Cup game today? Dave will have all the highlights in sports. And Tallahassee residents celebrate the first weekend of summer. We'll show you how. Join the city of Tallahassee for Celebrate America, July 4th at Tom Brown Park. Don't miss one of Tallahassee's biggest celebrations with entertainment from Crooked Shoes, Swinging Harpoon Blues Band, and more. Children's activities, food vendors, and free shuttle service from the Coger Center, plus a naturalization ceremony and fireworks display sponsored by City of Tallahassee, your own utilities to honor the American spirit. Celebrate America, July 4th at Tom Brown Park, brought to you by the City of Tallahassee. At Capilouto, we're proud to be the area's most trusted termite and pest control company. Featuring Perimeter Guard, our convenient, effective, outside pest control program that stops bugs before they get inside your home. Providing exceptional customer service for over 50 years. Call us today to discover why more people in our area choose Capilouto to keep them pest and termite free. Hello Capilouto, goodbye bugs. When cable companies advertise their security system, they love to show the camera a thermostat control. What about the security system? Is it really that bad? At SafeTouch, all cameras and home automation are integrated into one powerful system. SafeTouch systems are always on, and customers can see and control anything they want from any cellular or internet device. That's what I call peace of mind. If you want a great TV picture, call satellite. But if you want a great security system, call SafeTouch Security. SafeTouch. Save a bundle by avoiding a bundle. PetSmart has a wide selection of the best natural and specialized nutrition for every need. See the difference the right food can make, all with our unbeatable price guarantee. Right now, save $5 on select bags of Nutro Ultra Dog Food at PetSmart. To you, they're more than just a pet. So protect them with Canine Advantix 2. Its broad spectrum protection kills fleas, ticks, and mosquitoes too. Right now at PetSmart, save up to $10 on select Bear Canine Advantix 2 flea and tick products. This is a Morgan & Morgan medical alert. Drug companies are making billions of dollars convincing men that increasing testosterone levels will restore their energy and sex drive, promoting their low T products as a miracle fountain of youth. But they fail to tell men that these drugs may dramatically increase the risk of heart attack, stroke, and yes, even death. If you or a loved one suffered an injury from testosterone drugs, call Morgan & Morgan. Morgan & Morgan, for the people .com. Lots of people in Tallahassee celebrated the first weekend of summer by spending some time at Cascades Park today. Yesterday marked the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. Residents tell us they're excited for the new season. Um, anything to do with water, we, even just turning the hose on at the house is, is so fun for the kids and, and us too. So just getting in water is the best thing to do. The city of Tallahassee has events planned throughout the summer, like the big 4th of July celebration coming up at Tom Brown Park. For more information on that, just visit our website at WTXL.TV. And Max, we saw some of those summer storms today as well, didn't we? That is correct. Yes, we did see that active weather pattern sticking around the Big Bend in South Georgia. The storms have since been fizzling on out. And good news, if you're kind of getting sick of this active weather pattern, we have the full seven-day forecast coming up for you, and it has a change in it as well. But for now, we'll leave you with a live look off our Napleton Tower Cam. All quiet right now in Tallahassee. Maybe a little bit of light shower activity to the north, but that'll be fizzling on out in the next half hour or so. Your, your full storm team forecast is coming up for you right after the break. Wayne Fire Live Oak has the best 
best-built homes in the industry. Everyone knows that Live Oak Homes has the best ceilings, walls, and floors in the industry. Wayne Fryer has custom homes. You draw and we'll build it. Plus, low-E windows, mosaic tile, tape and textured walls, and much, much more. And for the month of June, Wayne Fryer Live Oak will give you free furniture up to $8,500 and pay your utility bill for the rest of the year. Only at Wayne Fryer US 90 West Live Oak. The 2014 Nissan Altima, with up to 270 horses, blind spot warning, and advanced drive assist. Choose the 38 MPG Nissan Altima and save up to 2,000. Nothing beats an Altima, except another Altima. Innovation that excites. Shop ChooseNissan.com. The Baker family just got super soft Tigressa carpet at Carpet One Floor and Home. It offers luxurious softness, and right now, it's up to 50% off. Plus, it's strong enough to stand up to a raucous family game night with a lively bunch like the Bakers. Carpet One Floor and Home, your store for the perfect floor. For people with cute pets and those who like things to be small but powerful, for those who need some quiet at home and those who like it light. For people who are energy conscious and those who like to clean into every nook and cranny. For homes with beautiful hardwood floors and people who want to extend their reach. Even for real night owls. Everyone deserves a Miele vacuum cleaner. Miele, forever better. 15 campuses statewide, over 70 majors. Associate to doctoral degrees. One institution. Kaiser University. For over 35 years, Kaiser has been committed to your success. Kaiser University. Prepare to succeed. Visit us at kaiseruniversity.edu. Titan Doppler Radar is sponsored by Kraft Nissan. In the weeks ahead, we are taking the newscast on the road, broadcasting live from many of the great communities throughout our viewing area, and we are kicking things off this week in Perry. Each night, we will showcase the Perry and Taylor County community in a unique way, sharing your story. And then we want you to join us Friday as we broadcast live all day long. And Christina, you were doing some of the stories over I was. there. Can you give away one of them, kind of what we're going to be seeing next week? Well, Perry's known for some really good donuts, mm -hmm. okay. so I can give you a hint that I went out there and tried them and found out for myself, and they're pretty good. Free so you'll want to see that. I love it, getting free I donuts. Did. You did I shared it with the bag. newsroom. Oh, you did? I did. You oh. weren't here. Was I off that day? You what were day off was that? that day. Monday, Tuesday? It was Monday or Tuesday. All right, well, that's why. But they were really mm -hmm. good, and I shared with everybody else in the newsroom, and they agreed. All so right. I'm very excited. You missed out. Now you're just going to have to take a trip Don't worry. I have, my, I have my own free food. Uh, story up in Oh, <laughs> yeah, you got, yep, you got Thomas <laughs> No next. worries, no worries. Yeah, well, anyway, all over the place, though, we were seeing the rainfall, whether you're in Perry or you're up over in Thomas, Phil Valdosta got in on it. We saw about 50 to 60 percent coverage with the rain today has since been fizzling on out. That is the good news. We are quieting down significantly on Titan radar, especially over the last couple of hours. We had this batch of energy from the tri-state region that just fizzled as the sun set and now it looks like we're calling it a quiet evening, unless you're heading out to the open golf waters, which I hope you're not because it's dark out. No need to be out there, but that's where the storms are still sticking around. All right, high temps today, certainly summer-like, certainly enough to get the energy flowing out there and get the rain to start on up in all those storms as well. Got to 97 in Bainbridge, 96 in the capital city. Upper 90s in Valdosta. Just two days ago, Valdosta, you folks hit 100 degrees for the first time this year. So summer alive and well and just kicking off this weekend. Temperatures right now a little bit cooler, but nice out there as well. Mild and muggy in the upper or mid-70s in the capital city, 73 in Bainbridge. Good evening to everyone in Moultrie. 73 is what you're seeing right now as well. We're only going to cool off a couple more degrees, and that's because we're going to stay so humid out there and very, very juicy as well. And that's because the storms are ending, but we saw the cloud cover sticking around. But the clouds will start to clear out as well.
Tomorrow we'll call it 93 degrees. We're going to see those scattered storms once again, and they will be a little bit earlier in the day versus later in the day like we saw today. I'll track it out for you in just a couple minutes, but first let's see what we're going on on our forecast map. Have those scattered rainfall still sticking around, but quickly that fizzles on out in the next couple of hours. As we go into your seven day forecast, high pressure is going to be more of a feature, but not quite so on your Monday. It's a little too far away. We're still going to be seeing the scattered storminess. Now, here's why tomorrow is a little different than what we saw this weekend and a very typical summer like pattern. We start off dry. That's typical. We do start off dry in the morning, maybe several clouds out there. We get to lunchtime. Usually we're still dry, but because we have the rain so late today, it's going to kick off even earlier on your Monday. So the rain will be sticking around in the Big Bend and South Georgia, but since it comes in sooner, it'll leave sooner. I think by lunch or by dinner time and into your evening commute after that, looks like we'll slowly be tapering on off rather than overnight to be seeing the taper on off with your rainfall. So here's a seven day forecast. Yeah, we have the active weather pattern on Monday, but as we head into the latter portions of your work week, check this out. Rain chances go down rather like 40%. It'll be more so about 20 to 30%. Now, as our rain chances go down, we see more sunshine and therefore Mr. Sunshine warms us up a little bit and we're back into the mid 90s by the time we get back into the end of the uh, work week and into next weekend as well. So that's the trade off. We see less moisture and possibly less severe weather because we're not going to be having as much moisture out there, Christina. But as we get into the throes of it all, we do see the temperatures start to rise back up. Right, and now this week we had some cooler temperatures in the mornings, right? Cool, well, cooler. cooler. I mean, it was low 70s, upper 60s. Still very muggy, though. Right. But again, typical for this time of year. And that's pretty much the pattern for the next several days. Right, it's summer. Summertime is here. Started yesterday. Yes, it did. All right, thanks, Max. Yep. After the break, we'll have your winning lotto numbers and sports with Dave Griffiths. Stay with us. Join us for the Camping World Block Party, June 27th through 29th at Camping World in Tallahassee. Don't miss out on great family fun. Plus, enjoy huge summer savings on all new and pre-owned RVs. New travel trailers as low as $129 a month. New motorhomes as low as $380 a month. Bring the family out and enjoy free food, great music, and prizes. Now's the time to buy at the Camping World Block Party in Tallahassee, June 27th through 29th. We have everything you'll ever need at Camping World. The dust has settled and construction is complete on the all new Flowers Honda in Thomasville. After a $1 million renovation, we are now proud to provide our guests with a comfortable state of the art showroom, luxurious customer lounge and reception area, and convenient drive through service lanes. As part of the celebration, you'll receive Flowers' exclusive three year maintenance plan with the purchase of any new Honda. The all new Flowers Honda in Thomasville, where you'll love the experience and love your car. Hey Tallahassee, did you know that the world's number one overnight summer camp is located right in your backyard? Camp at Ian Springs has been providing programming since 1965 for kids ages 7 to 17. Off-road ATV, scuba diving, horseback riding, yachting, the longest zip line in Florida, a 15,000 square foot indoor skate park, and the blah, blah, blah. Spaces are filling fast for the 2014 summer, so register online at www.campindiansprings.com. I Associates of Tallahassee is proud to introduce a major technological advancement in cataract removal, the Centurion Vision System. The Centurion technology allows your surgeon at I Associates to remove the cataract in a safer, more stable fashion. This potentially decreases the risks and improves the outcome of your cataract surgery. I Associates of Tallahassee is investing in your eye health. I Associates of Tallahassee, all you need to see. Brings you the four bedroom blitz. Sign a new lease at either of these lovely properties fashionable Villa San Marco or exciting Villa San Carlo, and you can take home one of these fabulous prizes. But wait, do you want some more? Sign up with your friends, and everyone gets more. More. How about double the prizes? Play today at Villa San Marco and Villa San Carlo, where Stu gets you. Time to live the dream, Florida. It's your Sunday, June 22nd, Florida Lottery Fantasy 5 game. I'm Charles Lockwood, and now let's play Fantasy 5. Imagine winning hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're winning Fantasy 5 numbers for tonight. First number is 34, followed by 31, 6, 24, and 19. Once again, good luck, Florida. You're winning Fantasy 5 numbers 34, 31, 6, 24, and 19. 
bigger games, brighter futures, and more winning moments. Just imagine. All right, Dave, I heard you yelling at the TV during the soccer game tonight. There were many, many emotions going on in that office, and that's what a beautiful game of football can do to you. It rings you, brings you in, rings you out, and sends you out the other side. And that's pretty much what happened to me today. But I've rebounded. I'm back here to deliver the I was going to say, you've cast. recovered. Here I am. <laughs> and here I go. Is there life on the other side of the group of death? The Americans have a chance to clinch a spot in the knockout round of the World Cup, but only with a win today. The U.S. ready to enter and face Portugal, one of the best players in the world, Cristiano Ronaldo. Fifth minute, really a botched attempt early from the U.S. Ball goes in. Jeff Cameron goes off his knee straight to Portugal's Nani. Slots it past Tim Howard for the goal. 1-0 Portugal right off the bat. Now near the end of the first half, another chance for Portugal. Nani's shot goes through Tim Howard's hands, but then tips the rebound over the crossbar. Take another look. Acrobatic save there from Howard to keep it. 1-0 at halftime. Second half, 64th minute, Jermaine Jones just outside the box. Fires a blistering curling shot past the Portuguese keeper. Take another look at this. Curls it straight around the defender and just into the side netting. That is a gorgeous piece of work. We're tied at 1. 81st minute now, USA again threatening. Clint Dempsey chests it into the back of the net to give the U.S. the lead. 2-1. to one. You win, you advance to the next round already. Fifth man in the stoppage time, though. Brilliant piece of work from Cristiano Ronaldo. His pass to Varela for the header into the back of the net. So the game ends in a 2-2 tie. Obviously, when you get it in the last second, uh, um, it's unfortunate. But I think it was, uh, it was an amazing game. Amazing performance by all guys. Obviously, we're disappointed. But at the end of the day, you got to look at the positives. we got a point. We're on four points now. Uh, you know, it's going to go down to the last game. And, uh, you know, hopefully we get the job done. More World Cup highlights from today. If the USA advance, they will take on a team from Group H. Two of them, Belgium and Russia, Russia facing each other this afternoon. 87th minute, this is Belgium. Eden Hazard finds Divock Origi for the goal. Belgium takes the 1-0 win to clinch a spot in the knockout round. Also in Group H, South Korea and Algeria. Scoreless in the 26th minute, but this game was not scoreless. Far from it. Islam Slimani there on the long ball from Algeria puts it in the back of the net. One of six goals. Algeria comes out on top four to two. If you watched our show yesterday, you saw the story on former Godby Cougar, now Indianapolis Colts assistant coach Roy Anderson, returning to Godby to host a youth football camp. Well, he brought back a former teammate with him, Anthony Robinson, now working with the Atlanta Falcons and player personnel. If you recall, the Falcons drafted Florida State running back Devontae Freeman less than two months ago. Scouting the southeastern United States, Robinson found something he liked in Freeman, and others in the organization certainly agreed. What stood out on tape about Devontae is that he's fast, he's explosive, and he's tough. 5'9", he's only 205, but he runs like he's 6'2", 220. And when you watch tape, that stands out. He's been the rock for his family, and to be able to carry that and still be the player you are on the field, I mean, that says a lot. To me, he's, he's one of my favorite guys. More insight from Robinson on Freeman online at WTXL.TV. Check out the video on our sports page. Two months from now, Terrence Whitehurst will be a freshman on the Florida State men's tennis team. Today, he had a chance to clinch a spot in the U.S. Open, playing in a qualifying tournament championship match at FSU's indoor tennis facility. The 18-year-old Tallahassee local fought through two sets, but could not get the upper hand on his opponent, last year's champion Jeff Dadamo. Whitehurst falls 6-3-6-2, finishing runner-up to honestly a very challenging opponent with six years of experience and a whole college career under his belt. Not a bad showing at all from a future knoll. Florida State's Lacey Waldrop won USA Softball's Collegiate Player of the Year Award for 2014. As a top player in the country, she was also chosen for USA Softball's national team camp. 24 players, both in college and graduated, went in. The final team of 17 announced today, but Waldrop did not make the cut. Of the four pitchers who did make the roster, none are in college anymore. Waldrop will return to FSU for her senior year as unquestionably one of the top players in the nation. It was a joy to watch her pitch this year. Absolutely fooled quite a bit of people out there in the circle. And she'll be back next year as well. All right. Thanks, Dave. You got it. We're back after the break.
Want to watch your favorite shows anytime? Just go to WTXL.TV and click on the ABC video player to connect to ABC.com and watch full episodes of ABC primetime shows. Brought to you by the Florida Lottery. Be sure to watch ABC 27 HD Wednesday and Saturday at 1059 for the Florida Powerball Drawing. When you've got the 2014 North American Truck of the Year offering the most innovative cargo bed in its class, you can do a lot. You just don't have to hear a lot. Introducing the all-new Chevy Silverado from the family of the most dependable, longest-lasting pickups on the road. Use special pricing to get a total value of $8,100 on this Chevy Silverado 1500 All-Star Edition. See your Southern Chevy dealers. Ironwood Homes Perry wants to stay Florida's number one dealer. Here's how. Ironwood Homes Perry will offer $4,000 in factory rebates, like on this four-bedroom home for just $49,900, or this 2,000-square-foot double-wide for $59,900. Don't forget, Ironwood Homes Perry can get you approved when other retail centers can't. Ironwood Homes Perry offers in-house financing. Only at Ironwood Homes in Perry. Every community needs qualified law enforcement to ensure the safety of its citizens. Learn to protect your community with a degree in criminal justice. Kaiser University can prepare you for this diverse career field. You can work in exciting professions such as law enforcement, corrections, homeland security, or private investigations. To begin your criminal justice career or take your law enforcement career to the next level, call Kaiser University now at 1-866-639-2733. Summer is here, and so are the savings going on right now, or you can take home an all-new 2014 Kia Soul for just $159 a month, or buy it for just $14,193 with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. And remember, we want to see you in a Kia. The reason to bring it to us is, first of all, we're not going to charge you for checking it up. A lot of places you'll go and you'll spend $100, and you'll know what's wrong with it, but nothing's fixed. So we'd rather you spend that $100 on making the repair. Anything you need done, we'll take care of and we'll check it out at no cost. Service, honesty, and caring, three main things. Tower Cam is brought to you by Napleton Infinity. All right, here's a quick look at your seven-day forecast. We have lots to talk about here. Temperatures are going to be in the low to mid-90s pretty much each and every day. Tomorrow is an exception in the seven-day forecast. Tomorrow is pretty much going to be a repeat of your Sunday and your Saturday in the way where we're talking about higher rain chances. Tomorrow we're going to see the rain chances kick off more so around lunchtime, continuing till your evening commute. But I think by the time you're going to bed tomorrow, no more rumbles of thunder. Not like we're seeing tonight where we saw a little wave of energy that continued to move from the tri-state region down into our neck of the woods. So again, tomorrow much of the same, maybe a little bit earlier with the rainfall and the storms kicking on off. Again, some of those storms could be on the strong or even on the severe side. So uh, meteorologist Michelle Rotella in the morning will keep you updated with that. And Chief Meteorologist Casanova Nurse will have more updates for you tomorrow evening. As we go later on into the forecast period, look at those rain chances, though. They do diminish slightly down into about the 20 to 30 percent range. And that's because we have more of a high pressure system coming into control from the Gulf of Mexico that advances towards our area. And that's going to sort of suppress the rainfall. Now, again, see those temperatures, though, still in the mid 90s or so. And even though we're getting into the low to mid 90s, we are going to start to uh, kick off and see that heat out there. And that heat will really boil up at least a few thunderstorms. So that's why there's no rain chances at zero because it's summertime. It's so hot and so sticky. It's going to boil up some of those storms nonetheless. Right, and that's going to last for most of the summer here, right? Yeah. That's pretty typical. Forecast kind of on cruise control, but again, tweaks each and every day. All right. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah. Have a good night.